Good evening and welcome to Scrapping on the Fly. This is Christy. And I only have two layouts under here. And in all honesty, one of them is not Disney. Due to a challenge, it is an old picture or old pictures. I do have two other pages I have completed, but I can't share them because they're design team sketches. So those will be shared after Friday when they are revealed on scrapbookingwithamarie.com. So the two pages I have, one Disney, one non, and then I'm going to build a page real quick um, uh, on camera and just a simple um, two pictures, you know, just some paper and most of it is already like trimmed out and ready. It's just putting it together. So under here is the first page is not Disney. This is actually from my high school prom. Um, the prompt today was for you to pull out old pictures and to use blue and triangles. And so um, the background paper that I used does have uh, shapes in it and the way that they are um, cut down is um, they are kind of like triangles. So um, these pictures are from 1994. So I felt like that was old enough. And this layout is with the background with the paper and everything and this border is a tutorial on the paid membership um, site for scrapbooking with amory.com so and it was a pretty easy uh, once I did it um, to do so and I've got a little journaling down here about the crazy um, prom experience and then the rest of the details are in this little journal square right here that is just tucked in there because it was more than I would have had to have written all the way around, which I considered, but decided I didn't want to do that. I wanted to leave it just this little brief commentary down here. And so I used some prom stickers that I already had from Jolie's and a sticker sheet of prom. I was worried I would never get to use because my daughter graduated in 2020 and never got to have a prom. So, um... Anyway, this was my page prompt for today. I love the way it turned out. Um, these metal looking ones are from Stickability. Nope, yes, Stickabilities. Um, and they were on the clearance. Yay! So that is the one page that I did today. And this is my one Disney page that I can share with you. This is a making a map page like this from each of the parks. So I already did Animal Kingdom. And so this is Disney's Hollywood Studios. I did cut this out of the map. And then I put it on the same shade of blue paper. And then popped it up on some foam squares. And then I used these stickers. I literally just got them on clearance at Michael's today. Uh, Sticky Picks Clear Cuts by Paper House. Um, I'm sad because this one sticker is like gotten stuck to the plastic. But anyway, it's a ton of pages and it's like two or three dollars. So I used uh, quite a few. The arrows came from here, from this. This Family Fun Times and this um, Geode uh, marker came from here. And then this little camera. Um, the Star Wars came from my Mandalorian stickers, and these stars were just something that came in a scrapbook that I bought from Amazon. Um, and then this was a sticker I've had for a very long time, and then these two came out of a Disney sticker pack. I was looking around to see if I could find it. Did I? Oh, here it is. That I got from Disney, and I have used quite a few of these over the last couple of Disney trips that I've scrapbooked, and we'll probably use quite a few more. Um, I do have to tape them down, double side tape them down, because they are not as sticky anymore. So, and I'm okay with that. So, and then I just matted the map part of the folded out map on some blue. And these are just pictures from these general areas. Like this is the Millennium Falcon, and which was from the Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. This is a trash can that was right outside of the Toy Story Land. This is a parade that had Sully in it, and it was right in the animation courtyard. This is the stoplight that is right between the Tower of Terror and the Rock and Roller Coaster. 
So, and then this is just a trash can that they had throughout most of the park. So this is the last Hollywood Studios page that I have. I've completed the rest of them. So I am excited to say that I am moving into Epcot. So I have Epcot and um, Magic Kingdom and then Star Wars. So you're gonna find this super random. Uh oh. Okay, so here is the picture that I'm going to scrapbook. <laughs> yep, that's a squirrel. So I am going to go ahead and put this picture with it. Um, this all happened at the same time. My daughter is in the telephone booth. We were in London at Epcot. And um, this, actually, this is actually what she's looking at. So I have more pictures that I will scrapbook tomorrow another one of her and one of my son and one of myself with the phone booths but for today i'm just going to scrapbook these two i have already matted um this one is on look i already used this to cut a circle out too um a sheet of the six by six echo park paper pad from the remember the magic i'm getting close to being done with this one i have one more book to use so I matted that on here there is a little hole right here from where it was at the top of the page and of course this big hole from where I had a circle cut out for another page that I created that you can't see right now um, and then this is just matted on a deep red that matches this telephone booth I have decided that I am gonna put this I just dropped something else oh no I got it yay on this green because this was in a very green area um, when we first got to Hollywood Studios the first thing we saw was this and some of the neat bushes so I had this circle already so I just want these pops of color on here and so um, this is one way I'm gonna do that but then this kind of disappeared into there. So I'm going to mat it on this orange paper. And this orange paper and another one that I bring in are from um, a mm, paper pad that I got at Meyer. I don't typically get any scrapbooking stuff there, but I was looking for something. And this was there and I thought, oh, that's a thin, it's thin, it's not cardstock quality paper it's just thin which is fine and it's white on the back as you can see because I just threw that scrap of the orange up here okay so I put it on orange this picture is more important because it is my daughter and then this is what the paper looks like it is a paper pad like this it has all these different colors like I said thin white on the back there's a hole at the top and this little dotted line. And I've used them for a lot of different things. So what I decided I was going to do is, instead of losing that whole part, I'm going to tuck this green under and move these around. So that covers that dotted line, but still gives me the length that I want. And I know you can cut and trim to do that. And that is okay. So we're gonna lay it out like that. And, yep, keep bringing that up. I go on up with that, and then so just like that. And then you can always like use an embellishment to cover that. I used some washi tape on some pages that I did so that that black um, dotted line didn't show. There is the circle that I cut. I needed just a little sliver of it. And so there's the rest of that. Just to add a little extra and to bring this in. And then I just today got this from Tim Holtz. And they're so neat. They're just cardboard. And there are a lot of, oh, I just about dumped them all out. They are a lot of the phrases that you'll find in his ideology book. So it's um, called Theories. It's 
quote chips. And it's just a box with a lot of his neat little phrases and quotes um, that you can use. And this is my favorite. The world needs who you were made to be. So I just put a little foam or a little um, double-sided tape on the back of it. So I'm going to lay this down like this and then do some embellishing. And so I... Oh, well, I didn't put any tape on the back of that. Goodness. I thought I was being real good about that so that you all didn't have to sit here forever. Because this page is honestly going to take about five minutes to put together. Because I've already got... And I, there is more double-sided tape on there. I'm just doing this so it's quick and you can see how easy it is to just make a page with some shapes and different um, squares and rectangles. And of course, in this page is a circle. And just turn your layers. Um, I don't want this to look like it's supposed to be a Mickey ear too low down for that anyway um but you can create a page like pretty quickly if you have an idea of what you want to do and I had an idea of the concept I wanted to do some layering I want this to come down a little further than the green I don't care if that line shows on the picture because that's just the concrete like where the sidewalk ends. Oh, I love that look. Okay, so there is that. I'm going to go ahead and lay this down. And then I just need to find something that I want to use to embellish. And this will bring all of this together because it's... I hope you can't... I hope you can't hear the TV because my children are watching something. Hold on, I gotta bring this closer to me. There's a little bug flying around here, which is driving me bananas, of course. Okay, so I think this is a really good beginning to a page. And I want to go ahead and use some of these because this is us going into Epcot first pictures and um, I really feel like this is um, this sticker book that I used already a little bit um, is a good page for me to, or good sticker sheet for me to use. So I want to find a couple of different things to put on here. And there's a lot of really great things on here. And I would use this that says journey, but it's pointing this way. And this would be towards the beginning of Epcot's book. So I want people to go this direction. So if it was pointing that way, then I'd be on board. <laughs> so. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see. Here we go. We got this says on our way. Now look, I'm gonna put this right here on the picture. Covers up the hall, points in the right direction. Might be a smidge crooked. <laughs> ay ay ay. I don't mind things being a little off. I certainly do not. And if this was going to tear the paper, then I would definitely want um, this here. I would definitely not want to do that. And I would leave the paper alone. No. To you all, that might look exactly the same. And it might but it looks better to me. Okay. So on our way, because this is the beginning, this will probably, before this will be like the opening page for Epcot. And let's see. I have a, I have a sucker for the, um, the 
cameras and I am a sucker for the arrows. They're just so fun. And um, there's so many of them, but I don't want to use the arrows on here because they are not the color I'm looking for. Although this navy blue one would be okay. And there's some geotags, but I don't really want to geotag anything just yet either. So always take the scenic route is my title. And I put that on there because the uh, squirrel, which I thought was funny. Uh, let's see. So I think I'm going to use, um, I think I'll put that on tomorrow's. Tomorrow I'm going to do the other page that goes with this. But now it is almost one o'clock in the morning. So <laughs> I think that I will finish this page up and go to bed. All right, I think that this is what I wanna put on here. And it just says smile and it has the arrows facing the correct way. I'm going to put it right here. All right. So it is a pretty simple page. And it doesn't have a lot of oomph and stuff on here. I'm just going to pull these off while I talk. Um, and I think that that's okay because I don't want every page to be full of stuff. I want some pages to stand out more because they have more important things now. My daughter is important, but the squirrel is not necessarily important. Um, I mean, you know, it was a part of our adventure and we thought it was really funny that he just was like right there. I did not zoom in on this picture. He was like right there and um, it was just really funny. And she's standing in the booth um, you know, and I'm taking her picture and she's like, Mom, Mom, there's a squirrel. <laughs> so I turned around and took a picture of the squirrel. And here he is, or she, I don't know. And uh, he's made it, he or she has made it into my book. So, you know, you just never know who's going to make it into the scrapbook. So, pages don't have to be crazy busy, they don't have to be crazy detailed, and they don't have to be loaded down with pictures. I am slowly but surely learning that I can create a page with a picture, or five pictures, or I think I've recently done one that had eight pictures. Um, and I've been creating them smaller, pictures smaller, so that I'm able to fit more on a page without it being overwhelming. And I love that because then I get more of the story on the page without, um, I'm making a mess, aren't I? Uh, without taking away from the embellishments and the other things as well as taking away from the pictures because you don't want to take away from the pictures you just want you know, the whole point of scrapbooking in my opinion because scrapbooking is a personal thing and everybody does it their way and if you scrapbook to um, show off your embellishments then more power to you and I think that's great if you scrapbook like I do, or <laughs> I'm not sure anyone really scrapbooks like I do because I'm super random, but if you scrapbook like I do in the aspect of I embellish to draw attention to the page for the pictures. I mean, I want people to look at it and say, oh, I love this little sticker. This is so perfect. This fits this picture. But when somebody first looks at the picture page, I want them to say, oh my gosh, I love this picture of your daughter in the phone booth. I've just moved this whole thing around. You know, I don't want them to be like, oh, this is a cute little camera. And then move on. This is the point, you know, to see these. 
that's the reason that I scrapbook is for myself and for my family because I know that my mom and family members and my children like to look through the books and my husband. So that is why I scrapbook. I enjoy reliving these memories. So you do what you do for your however you want to do it. And if you want to take some tips or suggestions or get some ideas from what I do, then that's great. So, but anyway, this is my simple lamp to get me kicked off into my Epcot book or pages. So here are the pictures that I have. I've got the rest of the ones from London. And then I've got map pictures, pictures of the ball. We went to all the different, uh, most of the different countries. Um, I got pictures from China and Spain and Mexico, Japan. We took a boat ride. There were some neat bushes. We did the Nemo ride. We went to a couple concerts. We did the Figment ride. We went on space, uh, Spaceship Earth. My husband and kids went on Mission Space, and I think these are, oh, and we had funnel cakes. Most importantly, we had funnel cakes. So see, that'll be a page. <laughs> so that is what the adventure and journey is that is awaiting me and you if you come along. So I've got my Disney box set up with my embellishments. And I've got my pictures organized in how I think I want to put them in the book. And so we'll see how that goes. So if I can find a squirrel sticker somewhere in my stash, it will go on this page. Because I like to put a little bit of the um, kitschy kind of um, things on here. And I do have some really neat stickers that go with the phone booths. But that's going to go on the next page with the other pictures. So, but here it is. And I hope that you have a wonderful evening. I hope you have a great day. And I hope to see you again. I hope you'll come back and um, go through old stuff, new stuff, scrapping pictures and using up the sash that I have had for a couple hours and a couple decades. So turning your um, new and old into the memories that you can hold. So have a wonderful evening and I hope you get a chance to do something you love with someone you love. Happy scrapping.